Tim Bontemps, welcome back to SportsCenter. Got to talk Sixers' plight. A lot of people are questioning whether Joel Embiid, Melvin and Simmons, if they can coexist. How deep do you think this rebuild has to go now that they've sacked their coach? Well, Phil, the NBA is a talent league, so I'd be very hesitant to break up two of the best young players in the NBA. And I think the numbers back that up. Two years ago, in their first full season together, when those two guys were on the court, the Sixers outscored their opponents by 15 points per 100 possessions. Last year, they outscored their opponents by eight points per 100 possessions. And this year, they outscored their opponents in about 840 minutes together by a grand total of 16 points. The thing that changed there wasn't Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. It was literally everything else around them right? And now including Brett Brown, who's been fired. So to me, what has to change is these guys around Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid have to be changed to pieces that better fit their skills. Because I think you can win with those two guys, but you can't win with them with this current group, as we've seen over the past few months. And we certainly saw in this first round series against the Boston Celtics, because I know the Sixers didn't have Ben Simmons, but the Celtics didn't have Gordon Hayward either. And, you know, at, they still got run off the court by a Boston team that, you know, it, while a great team, this series should have been far more competitive than it was. All right, Tim, uh, let's talk about who's next. A couple of uh, potential coaching candidates that are being looked at. The name that we're hearing so much that seems to be popping up is Tyron Lue. And, of course, that could make, make some sense. Uh, outstanding Villanova college coach Jay Wright is also being floated out there. What are you hearing? What direction do you think that they will go? Yeah, those are the first two names that have come up, Mark. And, and I think they both make sense in different ways. Uh, Ty Lue is a guy who I think has a chance to get through to Joel Embiid. And that that is the number one thing I think you need to find in the next coach of this team. Um, you know, Joel really liked Brett Brown. So did everybody else there. But the bottom line is Joel's conditioning is never where it would ideally be in a perfect scenario. And I think if Joel Embiid is fully locked in and engaged for an entire season, he could win MVP and Defensive Player of the Year and be the best player on the planet. But over the course of his career so far in the NBA, he has never proven to be able to consistently play at that level and be locked in from a conditioning standpoint and from a health standpoint. So I would like to find a coach if I'm the Sixers that I think has a chance to get that out of him. And I think Ty Lue has a chance to do that. Ty Lue played with Shaquille O'Neal. He knows what it, he knows what a dominant NBA big man looks like. I think that if you get him in a room with Joel, he might be able to get the best out of Joel. So I, I certainly think he makes a lot of sense. And Jay Wright is a terrific college coach. He's a guy that's long been rumored to come to the NBA. He runs a lot of NBA stuff at Villanova, a lot of three and four guard sets. Um, you know, has won a national championship, has had a tremendous career there. He's obviously in Philadelphia, his beloved figure there. So if he is going to come to the NBA, I certainly think it would make sense to come to Philly. But, you know, regardless of who they end up getting, this is a job that people are going to want. Like the Brooklyn job, you know, like people have talked about potentially Mike D'Antoni leaving Houston. You know, this is a job with big time talent. And if you're a coach that wants to win big in the NBA, you have to look at this Sixer job and say, I can go in there and be the one to make this work, you know, and win a lot of games.